as the morning sun kisses the palms. Father Michael Nixon is pounding the pavement. Oh man. Stopping only to snap an occasional shot. You get surprised all over again how bad it still is. What started as a respite from storm recovery morphed into a way to help the community. I'll be sharing those updates with you guys uh, to raise awareness. Documenting the devastation. I can run through these really damaged neighborhoods and just share pictures from that. Hallelujah. All before morning service. The gospel of the Lord. Held not at a church itself for months. To stand and bring our prayers and our petitions before our loving God. But in this tent. We must be standing our daily bread. We ended up moving up to the stairwell and, and just, just being there and just, just kind of praying. And, and, um, and that's when we heard the, the, the sound of the, the roof getting, getting torn off. A roof, a stained glass window, though this one, the resurrection, was spared. That's kind of the last sort of, uh, of you know, beautiful work uh, left here in the church. Tears of joy when the tent company made this replica for their temporary home. Goodness in the midst of, of, of the chaos. How often we allow other people to own whether or not we're going to be happy. It might be years until their church is rebuilt. New focus for his sermons. All we had left was the mission. And um, in a sense, that's, that's all you really need. And with each step, training for a marathon, fundraising for Catholic charities to pour right back into Panama City. People say, you know, life's a marathon, it's not a sprint, and definitely rebuilding from a Category 5 hurricane is, is a marathon.